Hey guys, it's Tamara Bennett here with Southern Adornments Decor. Uh, tonight we are going to be painting these adorable little witch's boots uh, door hanger. So I hope you guys will join us and I'll get started in just a moment. I don't know how long this is going to take because usually I'm not under a time constraint with painting. So hopefully it won't take too long and we can get this all done pretty quickly. If you're like me, your kids are already in bed and it's time to wind down and just relax. So um, some people find watching painting very therapeutic, so I hope you all enjoy it. Um, this is my way to relax, so uh, it should help you as well. Even if you don't like to paint it, you might enjoy watching it. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the camera angle just a little bit so you can see more of the door hanger and less of me. <laughs> okay. As you come on, if you will, just say hello and tell me where you're from. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Um, and I will try to answer them live if I can. And if I can't, then I will answer in the comments later. Okay, this camera angle is so weird because I feel weird because you can't see me, but you can't see the door hanger either. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, first color I'm using is Apple Barrel in Kiwi. It's a matte acrylic paint. I like the matte paints because they cover better. To me, the gloss paints kind of streak a little bit and they don't um, cover quite as well. Um, if I'm painting a base coat, sometimes I will just squirt the paint straight on there and just smear it around. It just saves time to me, it's a little quicker. I'm gonna start by painting the socks of the witch's legs, this kiwi green and we will add some purple stripes in just a few moments. I like to also paint the edges of my door hanger. A lot of times people at my paint parties will leave that part off. And it's just, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference until you're done with the whole thing. And then you kind of look back and you're like, I kind of wish I had painted those edges. It kind of just makes it look more, I don't know, uniform and complete and finished. So I like to paint the edges. And a lot of times, one of the questions I get at my paint parties, oh, hi, Brittany, glad you're joining me. Looking forward to your paint party on Friday night at your house. So actually, I think one of your guests is going to be painting these boots. Um, anyways, like I was saying, one of the questions I get at my parties is, how do I keep it look, from looking streaky? Like, you know, showing the wood grain behind it. This is only one coat, and it's covering pretty well, but one of the things that helps is after you get it all covered, take your brush and in long strokes, just kind of go in one direction all the way across and it smooths out all those little streaks. If you do just little bitty, you know, strokes all the way across, then you're gonna have more of a streaky finish. I'm gonna need some more right on this end. So since I've already got most of it covered, I'm just gonna squirt some on a plate this time. And I'm just gonna finish up the edges on this side. Hopefully it's not too late for everybody to be watching live. My kids just get in bed at about nine o'clock, so this was the perfect time for me to go live. The only other time I have is like while the kids are at school and most of you guys are at work. So hopefully if you're not watching this live, at least you're catching it the next day and you can watch it whenever it's convenient for you. But even though you're not watching it live, if you're not, you feel free to go ahead and leave comments and I'll answer them as I can. Um, I love to hear what you think and know that you're there. Okay, we've got the green all done, as you can see. And while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the black part of the boots. All right, and I'm just gonna drip some on there and then smooth it around. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go, that's better. And I'm just gonna Smooth it out. And I've already gotten my little buckles and belt drawn on here, so I'm going to avoid those areas. Uh, sometimes I just like to have it drawn out ahead of time, especially if I'm using like black paint, because some covers, uh, most colors don't cover black paint very well. But we will be doing white polka dots. Oh, looky there, I went over my line anyways. Oh well. We'll fix it later. Um, 
white covers black pretty well, but a lot of other colors do not. So if I'm painting black, sometimes I will avoid painting areas that I know are going to be a different color just so I don't have to worry about how well it covers. I'll go around the little buckle and the edges. see we've had a few more people join us as you're coming on if you will just say hello and tell me where you're from and if you want there's a little button at the bottom next to the comments where it says uh, it might say share or it might be just like a little guy's head with a little halo shape around it if you will you can share this video and you can even share it while it's live so that other people will see it and your friends that enjoy painting will see it and they can watch it while it's live. Okay, I'm gonna get some more black, but I'm gonna just squirt it on down here. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. It's probably, besides Christmas, just cause I love to decorate for Christmas, but besides Christmas, it's probably my favorite. It's just so fun. It's kind of a magical time of year. All right. If you hadn't noticed already in the description, I put that you could purchase one of these uh, witch boot door hanger cutouts from me if you would like to paint one yourself. You could purchase the unfinished cutout, and then you, if you're local, you could pick it up from me or we could meet. Um, if you're not local, I'll be happy to ship it for you for an additional charge. And whenever you get it, you could just pull this video back up and make sure you've got the paint colors that, I've that I'm naming off. And you could paint it at home while watching my video. That way you've kind of got like a live teacher going. <laughs> just now seeing the comments. Hi, Shauna. Hi, Miranda. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying my videos. Yeah, um, Facebook Live is kind of new to me, and I feel kind of weird talking to myself here, but it's kind of nice when you guys comment back because it makes me feel like I'm not by myself and not talking to myself. So feel free to comment and just talk to me like you were here with me because it's kind of lonely on this end <laughs> talking to myself. But um, I enjoy doing the videos. I'm going to try to do at least one a week. I would like to do that many. Um, it just kind of depends on my kids and the schedule and, you know, when I can fit it in, like I said. So, I'm addicted to watching Facebook Live videos myself of other crafters crafting. Um, so, <laughs> it's I, I, if I enjoy it that much, I know other people probably enjoy it. So, I figured I would do one myself and you guys could see me doing it on here. I see Holly has joined us. Hello, Holly. <laughs> um, if any of you guys are crafters, just tell me, like, what have you guys been crafting this week? What have you guys been making? I've just done a few door hangers here and there, but I haven't done anything else very crafty besides painting. So I've kind of been looking for a craft. I did that pumpkin um, bunt pan door hanger wreath thingy last week and I've been searching for something else to do and haven't come up with anything just yet so if you guys have been crafting feel free to tell me what you've been making I would love to hear about it I feel like I'm moving super slow here you guys are probably bored out of your minds you're used to watching my time lapse, time lapse videos where it's moving at four times the speed, now you get to see just how slow it actually is. I'm not nearly as fast as I appear on the time lapse videos. Move a lot slower in real life. Not to mention in the time lapse videos, it cuts out all the drying time and you don't have to sit there and watch me with a blow dryer, which I may have to end up breaking out here in a minute if my green paint isn't dry enough. Running out of black. Almost got the black done on these boots. It's 
a little thin in a few places, so I'm just going to give it a quick um, once over with the paint again so that it doesn't look so splotchy. Oops. And then we'll do some black, uh, white polka dots in a minute on this. If you hear a little chirp, chirp, chirp in the background, that's because I've got some baby chicks in a box behind me. I'm raising them. Um, when they're a little bigger, they'll go outside. But for right now, they're safe inside away from the dogs and other predators. I don't know if the phone is sensitive enough, sensitive enough to pick up the sounds, but they're quite chatty. Okay. All right, so this is what we've got so far. You can see. Another thing you could do with these boots is after you're completely done, you could flip them over and paint the back side like elf's feet. Wouldn't that be cute? <laughs> and then you'd have a dual purpose door hanger. Okay, um, I'm gonna probably go ahead and paint the little buckles while I'm still waiting for the green to dry. And if it's not dry after that, I will just have to turn the hair dryer on for just a second. You guys will just have to bear with me. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? Okay, I've got the orange. This is just pumpkin orange by Apple Barrel Paints. I'm going to just paint the buckles that color. I'm gonna leave the inside of the buckle unpainted though. I just like to go around the edges first and then fill in the middle. Just seems a little faster that way because then I don't have to be quite so careful. <clears throat> Paint the edge. <laughs> Shauna says she likes the dual door hangers. I do too. Another really cute one is um, the, uh, what am I trying to think of? Candy corn. You know, it's kind of triangular. And if you flip it over, then it could be like a triangle watermelon slice. And let's see, I've also got one that's um, uh, a bobber, like a fishing bobber on one side, and it could be a Christmas ornament on the other side. And then there's one more that's um, a stack of free pumpkins, and then when you flip it around, it's a uh, snowman on the other side. Those are always fun to do. Okay, got my buckles painted. Okay. What do you think? I'm trying to decide, I've already messed up right here, but I'm gonna have to fix that. Oh, you can't see it. The little band that goes across the boots, do you think? Up here, I'm gonna do some purple stripes. So do you think I should do the band green or purple? Let's take a poll real quick while we're waiting for that to dry. Green or purple bands across the boots. And here's the purple that I'm gonna use. It's called Purple Iris. I'm gonna reuse that same brush. Let me wash it out real quick. Okay. And these are just not gonna be like super hard stripes. We're just gonna, somebody, couple purples. I hear one green. Okay, I'm just gonna start up here at the top and just do a simple stripe across. I'm not even like drawing a straight line because it doesn't have to be perfect. It's gonna be cute either way. And I think I want them a little thicker than that, so. But if you wanted to, if you're like OCD and want a nice straight line, you could get out your yardstick and draw you a straight line. It's probably going to take two coats of that to cover that green real good. Okay. I'm going to do another one. But I promise you're not really going to notice if the lines aren't perfectly straight whenever you're done because it's going to be so busy with so many other details that nobody's going to really notice if the lines aren't perfectly straight. You're just going to notice the adorable bow and the little details that you've put on it. You aren't going to care. Looks like mostly everybody is saying purple. I should do purple bands. I kind of like the purple. And then I thought about on top of the white polka dots at the bottom, maybe doing like a little green swirl. So that would pull some more green into it. Sometimes you just got to go with the flow and feel it as you go, you know. 
some people like at my parties want to really look at a picture and do it exactly by the picture but my favorite ones are usually the ones where somebody did their own thing and did it completely their own way because it's so unexpected and it's it's more of a treat for me that way because I'm like oh that's a great idea and it's something I didn't think of and so sometimes they paint them a different color than I expected to or add a different pattern and Next thing you know, people at the next party want to paint it like the person that did it at the last party. Okay, we're getting our purple stripes going on here, and they are going to need another coat because this green is bold. It is showing through. Anybody know what their kids are going to be for Halloween this year? Because I totally don't. I need some ideas for my little girl. She's going to be 18 months on Halloween. And I have zero ideas as to what to dress her up as. So if you guys have got some ideas, feel free to shoot them my way. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. We're going to let that dry for a second. And move down here and start painting this band purple. Because that's what everybody voted for. Purple band, same color. This purple is kind of a little bit see-through, so it's probably gonna require two coats everywhere I'm putting it, which is kind of annoying for Facebook Live because you guys are having to wait on it. But it should be worth the wait. It'll be cute when it's done. Side of this. That orange is still wet, so I'm trying to avoid smudging it too bad. Okay, we got that part. <laughs> Frozen fever is still going strong. That's hilarious. That is so funny. I think there's a lot of people who are that way. My kids will not seem to give up on Halo. They have um, been obsessed with Xbox. Oh, looky there. The purple covers that black just great. <laughs> I don't even have to worry about it. Here I was worried about my goof up there and having to fix it. But the purple's covering the black even though it won't cover the wood grain. Go figure. Anyways, um, like I was saying, yeah, my kids are obsessed with Halo and Xbox and anything having to do with fighting on a video game. And so that will probably be what they are for Halloween. Okay, so far so good. All right, um, I'm going to get out the hair dryer real quick and dry this. So hang on just a second. Sorry for the noise. Shouldn't take but like 60 seconds. Setting. <laughs> almost lost my plate of paint and uh, the hottest setting you just don't hold it way too close then it will dry it really fast but if you hold it too close on one spot for too long it will cause the paint to actually crack if you guys can actually hear me so okay now we can move on let me do another coat real quick on these stripes get some more purple Because right now that purple is looking kind of brown on top of this lime green. Covered the black just fine though. Nothing makes sense anymore. Alright. One downside to filming Xbox, or <laughs> Xbox Live, Facebook Live this late at night is I'm a little bit more scatterbrained because I'm exhausted from the whole day. And my hair is a in a ponytail almost always at this time of day because I'm just fed up with it by that time of the day. And it's just hot out. Still going to have to touch a couple of these places up before the end of the night's over with because the paint 
wasn't completely dry when I started painting on top of it. That's the thing. If you are frustrated because your paint is not covering, it's probably because the first layer is still wet. But that's looking a little better. Okay. I think I'm going to make one of these a little thicker because it's looking like that green space is a little too wide. There we go. Like I said, these don't have to be perfect, but, you know, if you're feeling like it needs to be a little thicker, make it a little thicker. No big deal. I'm just going to bring this one on up a little farther, too, because I made the other so thick. Okay. That is done. Now let's start the white polka dots. What did I do with my pencil? Here it is. Okay. The rule of the, well, I don't know what the rule of thumb is for polka dots, but this is what I like to do. Find something round. This is one of Charlie's toys and a pencil. And just put it somewhere in the corner and trace around it. And then the next one, just kind of go out a little ways and trace around it. And here's the key. You gotta make kind of like a little triangle with your dots which is, this isn't the best part to show you because this isn't a great place to show you. Let me move on down the boot a little bit and then I'll show you. Okay, let me do one kind of under here. I must have got paint on it because now I've transferred it to the black. Okay, so I've got one right here. I'm gonna do one right here. And then I like to make another one kind of at a triangle to the other two. I don't know if you can see that, but I've got one here and here and I'm kind of my make like a triangle a little triangle of dots so I'm gonna do another one down here and then after that you take the last two that you did and move down do another little triangle it's kind of like working in threes so that they're all kind of randomly dispersed one two three one two three and then Probably one more on the corner here. Okay, and then one right here. Wait a second, I need to draw where my boot's gonna come. This boot's gonna kinda curve like that. So my polka dots need to be different because I got two different boots touching each other here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish tracing all these polka dots and then we'll get busy painting them. real technical as you can tell <laughs> as in totally not technical okay moving on around and make sure you go off the edge and just do like a little one so it seems completely random and I'll just do the tip there. okay got oh I forgot this spot up here sorry I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I got all of my little dots drawn. Okay. Let me figure out what brush I'm going to use. I think I like the one I was using before. Okay. Just dab your brush in the paint real good. Get it nice and thick on there. And I like to just sweep the brush around the edge of each dot. And fill it in. Sweep it around the edge of the dot. And sometimes you get it all and sometimes you don't, but you just fill it in. And that white covers the black pretty nicely. Sometimes I get in the zone and I forget that I'm on Facebook Live here and I forget I'm supposed to talk to you guys while I'm painting. <laughs> I'm in the zone and I forget that other people are watching. So, what's everybody doing tonight? I'm painting. 
anybody else crafting while they're watching me craft? Sometimes while I'm doing a door hanger or something and I'm bored and there's like nothing on TV, I'll pull up like a Facebook live video of one of my favorite crafters that I follow and I'll just listen to them chatter on while they paint and it kind of keeps me entertained while I'm painting. careful not to run into the band here. There you go. Got one boot done. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Need some more white paint. Hang on. So quiet out there. Anybody have a question about anything or want to talk about paint parties? If you're from the Murray, Kentucky area and you haven't been to one of my paint parties before, they are tons of fun. Um, if you want to host one, you just contact me and we set up a time and a place. And usually the hostess is the one who figures out where they want to have it. Like if they want to have it at their house, at their church fellowship room in their garage even or um Polly Eyes and Murray has been gracious enough to let us use their party rooms several times I've got another one there Thursday night um so you can call and book a room up there and they'll just let you as long as you eat pizza they don't care they'll let you paint and do whatever and hang out as long as you want and uh if they're in the Murray area and the parties in the Murray area <laughs> hard to say um, it's $25 a person, and if you have at least eight people besides yourself, um, then as the hostess, you will get to paint for free. And everybody gets to pick out what kind of door hanger they want to paint. And usually we set up like a Facebook event. That way everybody can kind of communicate on there and post a picture of the one they want to paint. It's just easier to communicate that way and keep track of everything. Does anybody have a question about paint parties? I will be happy to answer them for you. We do fundraisers too. Um, fundraisers, it just kind of depends on um, where it's at, what it's for, and all that on the pricing. So you just have to private message me about that and we would work out the details of that. But um, the goal at the paint party is everybody leaves with a completely finished door hanger. Like with a bow on it, hanger on the back, it's ready to put up on your door when you leave. Okay, we got all of our polka dots done. I say we like you guys are helping me. I guess you're keeping me motivated to finish this tonight because I can't really leave it unfinished when all of you guys are watching. Okay, um, let's see. I want to do another coat on this orange real quick. And then we can move on to doing little swirlies on the polka dots because there's just a couple places where the orange wasn't real thick. <clears throat> I thought about doing a Facebook live video at the paint party so that people could see that. Could see kind of like what, you know, what the vibe is and what it feel what it's like to be at a paint party, so I don't know. Would you guys like? Would you guys like that? Would that be helpful? I know a lot of you guys watching have already been to a paint party, so you know what it's like. But um, some of you guys probably haven't, so you're like have no clue. But it's usually a lot of fun. I always laugh and say that like at the first 30 minutes or so, everybody's really chatty because they're doing the easy part. They're doing the background colors, and they're not really having to think too much about it. But then after about an hour, hour and a half in, it usually takes two and a half hours or so, 
after about an hour, hour and a half in, everybody's getting to the more detailed parts and it gets really quiet in the room and I always laugh and say, okay, everybody's concentrating too hard now because they quit talking. But it's a lot of fun. It's always fun too to see like all the different ones everybody paints and how they paint them differently. Okay, got another coat on that purple too. All right, let me hit these polka dots real quick with the hair dryer. Sorry for the noise. As you can see, I've already got paint on my arm. I'll have to touch up a couple spots. Okay. I already got my arm in it, so I'm going to touch this spot up real quick. I can't seem to paint without making a mess on myself and on the door hanger. That's okay. You can always paint over it. It doesn't matter. Just touch up all the little spots, especially if it's black. Okay. I'm just going to use like a little um, pointy brush and get some of this lime green that we've been using, the kiwi lime green. Swirl my brush around it, get some on the edge. Let's see if you guys can see. And just do like a little whoop in the middle. You got to make the noise when you do it. Whoop. All right. Just swirl in the middle. And swirl. And they don't have to be perfect. It's just kind of like a cute little personality detail. So hang on. I gotta get some more green. Okay, make a little swirl. And if your polka dot is kind of off the edge, you can just do like two little half circles on it, kind of like that. And it'll look like you got a swirl going on. Can you guys see those? Totally makes the polka dots way more interesting. You like it? What do you guys think? You like the side with the swirls or the side without the swirls? Is it too much? It's too late now. You know, I guess I could paint over it, but I kind of like them. Whoops, I almost dipped my paintbrush in my wipe. That would not have been good. I would have had to have washed it out. As you can see, I'm not really caring whether or not these swirls are perfectly formed. I'm just kind of doing a little doodle in the middle, working from the outside in. And a couple more up here. There we go. Okay, let me wash that brush. And then we'll do some little details up here around the edges and stuff. Okay, so it already looks pretty cute. But the thing that really makes um, the finishing touch to me is when you add a little bit of highlights here and there. So I'm going to take like a little bit of white. Let me get some more. And just do like a little bit of detailing up here at the top. Like I'm going to make her leg... Actually, I want to do that in black. I'll do just like some little details on the stripes. And I'm not being real careful about this. I'm just doing little streaks going across. Kind of just give it a little bit of interest. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the buckle. Just a little. This is the part that stresses everybody out for some reason. Which I guess I can understand because when I first started doing door hangers, it really stressed me out too because I thought it had to be like a perfectly straight line or it had to look a certain way. But honestly, if you just streak it on there and you don't really care about it, it usually turns out a lot better than if you had tried really, really hard. Because if you try really hard, it's kind of obvious that you tried hard and then it looks like you tried too hard to get it too straight and too perfect. And then the flaws show up. Show up. Okay, so this lady's little legs are gonna go like this. And I'm going to make it a little thicker. And then kind of do another one on this side. Okay. And I may want to use 
it's just a little bit of black on the buckle too. And if it streaks in the white like that, it actually makes it look better. So don't worry about it too much. Kind of just doing the same thing I did with the white, just around the buckle. Kind of makes it more interesting, more detailed, and it's not very much trouble. Okay, washing my brush out again, and now I'm getting the orange, and I'm just going to go kind of down the side of the boots like this. Okay, and then go around the edge. It just kind of defines the edges of the boots since they're black. And I don't know if you guys were all listening earlier, but if you missed it, I said that you could flip this door hanger over and paint the other side like elf's boots. So maybe closer to Christmas, I will do that so you can see the other side. I think it's probably a little too soon for some people for me to start posting Christmas door hangers. <laughs> I don't want anybody to freak out and be like, whoa, Christmas is not here yet. Slow down. Let me do some across the top of here. See all the little details? And I might even take a little bit of or a little bit of white and do the same thing. Even though we've got the white polka dots, it just kind of makes it a little bit more um, artsy. Artsy fartsy, I guess. And I'm just lightly kind of streaking across that orange so that it just looks, I don't know, a little bit, a little bit messy, a little bit artsy. It doesn't have to be perfect. Doing all these little things, honestly, is what kind of hides the flaws. If you see flaws in it, doing these little things kind of makes the flaws less noticeable because you're too busy looking, the eyes drawn to all these little movements and details. And you're not noticing all the little flaws as much. Okay. I think I want some white streaks down the side, too, of the socks. All right. I don't think it needs anything else, do you? All I gotta do now is add the bow, which I've already made, and it blew off and under the table when I was using the hairdryer. So hang on just a second. Okay, I've already made the bow. It's just um, a double loop of the purple deco mesh and just a straight piece of the green deco mesh. And this really cute little black and white wired chevron ribbon that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I just tied a string around all of it to hold it together. So let me find my handy dandy staple gun and we will attach this and be done. I'm just going to probably get behind this layer and attach the purple. Okay. What do you think? Final results. I like the purple bands around it. Good choice, guys. Thank you all for joining me. Once again, I'm Tamara Bennett with Southern Adornments Decor. And if you could, do me a favor and share this video with your friends. And if anybody else wants to paint a door hanger just like this, I can sell you the um, unfinished wood cutout for $15. So send me a message and I will um, get one to you. And you can watch the video again and paint it for yourself. Thanks for all the love in the comments, guys. I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks. Once again, I got to figure out how to turn it off. Okay, there it is. Bye.